also the rumors are that the reason why we haven't got a trailer yet because the trailer is going to be dropping between the 7th and the 15th of november that's what i know from my research online <laughs> so how are we today spider fans and yep i'm a bit more bright eyed and bushy tailed today which is why i'm going to be doing a reaction shortly after this video for ghostbusters the final one but let's talk about the whole debacle with john campier and his well intentional or unintentional leaks for spider-man and no way home uh, this is bizarre so this morning I, I, a channel that i follow um they made a video about whether he did this on purpose so i look full disclosure i'm not going to mention what the actual photos that leaks are for Spider-Man and No Way Home. You can go on Google, you can find them yourselves, and it's, and it's very spoilerific, by the way. So I'll warn you right now that, you know, when, he, when you see it, you'll know what I'm talking about. So uh, on yesterday's John Campier show, he, uh, he was sent some photos by someone at Sony, and uh, one of the photos he was talking about, um, well, I'm not gonna say much more than that, but he was talking about the light displacement on a certain actor and how this, particular picture could be or not be a fake but then the other photo now when as soon as i saw that i thought no that's definitely the real deal you can tell that's not a deep fake it's definitely 100 it's real you can tell and other sources have confirmed that particular photo or maybe both photos are actually real uh, john campy is one of these guys he doesn't intentionally drop spoilerific photos on his channel because that's all that's like an automatic copyright strike by the owner so i don't think he would have done it on purpose i think he would have realized that these things are actually legit also it could be sony might be coordinating this with him perhaps i don't know why they would pick john campier of all people to get the ball rolling maybe it's some kind of weird viral marketing i'm not aware of so it, it could be that and you know what fans have been asking for a brand new trailer what i saw today i mean i'm legit really excited for this now because if you see my earlier no way home reaction which i'll link at the end of this episode um, there's something i pointed out in there and yeah it's pretty much confirmed in one of the leaked photos i'm like okay Although I know what's happened, although what I know is going to be happening now, um, um, it doesn't ruin it for me. It actually makes, it actually up, um, ups the levels of excitement for me. So I don't really care at this stage. I'm sure there are more bigger WTF moments within the film, which Sony will keep a tight lid on. But it does bring me to this particular article, courtesy of MovieWeb. I mean, come on, we're talking Spider-Man, right? So <laughs> why not go to that particular website? And I was literally thinking yesterday, today why don't they get nicholas hammond who played the really funky and get down spider-man from 1977 to 1979 it's a great show it's campy it's of its time but think of it as marvel's equivalent of adam west when he was batman and i think if adam west was still alive now they might have found a way to bring him back into the flashpoint or the flash movie coming out next year but they might still do that i think if adam west's estate allows his image or or whatever to be used in that film then why still bring him in so i don't see why that can't happen but nicholas hammond who played peter parker in the amazing spider-man in the 70s says it would have been fun to have the old guy there in no way home i actually agree with that statement nicholas hammond is a great actor if you saw quentin tarantino's once upon a time in hollywood he played sam wanamaker a very famous movie producer and to be honest he should have got an Oscar nomination for it because his performance was so damn good. All the plaudits went on Brad Pitt, quite rightly so, but supporting actor-wise, you could have had 
Nicholas Hammond along with Leonardo DiCaprio for their roles. I thought he was terrific. It would seem that at least one live action Spidey actor won't be there for the rumored uniting of the very Spider-Man in No Way Home. <laughs> As seen in the trailer and poster for the much anticipated sequel, the new movie brings in major villains from the previous live action Spider-Man franchises. As you know, Maguire, Garfield, all the likes. So Spidey historians will know that actor Nicholas Hammond, who's Australian, American, previously played this superhero in the 70s television series. Uh, there was a version of Spidey featured on the children's show The Electric Company, but Nicholas Hammond was the star, was the first star in his own live action project. Speaking to The Hollywood Reporter, Hammond addressed his past as Spider-Man and the excitement surrounding No Way Home. The actor is happy that so many fans still love his classic version of the character. I do, it's awesome. But he's also ecstatic to see that Spidey has become more popular than ever. Hammond says he was never approached about an appearance in No Way Home, shown with new John Watts and particularly Marvel and Disney, which he admits was disappointing as he was hoping to get the call. That's really sad to know, actually. Uh, I think it would have been I think it would have been huge fun. It would have been a kick in the pants to have the old guy there. I was really hoping I would be approached, but unfortunately, that didn't happen. Oh, that's really sad. So it's, um, you know, I was kind of, oh, here we go. Tom Holland's version is the closest to what we were doing, trying to make him very much a real guy, someone who you could actually forget he had these powers and get caught up in Peter's story. Times have changed since Hammond was slinging webs across television back then. The actor says that he was reluctant to take on the role because only Adam West's Batman had been the only thing like it. Uh, when producers explained to him that this would be different because Parker was a real guy, Hammond grew more interested and accepted the part. Unfortunately, it was cancelled after just two seasons, but the case could be made that it was just several decades ahead of its time, as Spider-Man is now one of the most popular characters on the planet, which is absolutely true. And yes, Nicholas Hammond didn't make it into the MCU, but I think if you're bringing in characters from Netflix now and making that part of the MCU, why couldn't you have done it with this? But you know what, guys? I'm disappointed about this news. It would have been great to have gone to this deepest or deep cuts just to get Nicholas Hammond as an old Spider-Man back into this. It would have really, for me, it would have cemented the whole Spider-Verse as we know it at the moment. So folks, if you enjoyed this video today, and yes, I'm back to full screen mode again, leave a like below, smash that comment and smash in my face at the same time, which was unintentional and i'll see you on my next video reaction review or maybe even a rant god that really hurt damn